Disney's live-action Little Mermaid casts the black actress as Ariel, Haley Bailey. As you're about to see in the Young Turks video I'm about to cover, this caused such a huge controversy that three whole people tweeted about it. The Little Mermaid. There will be a remake. It is a live-action remake featuring a young black actress who will play the role of Ariel. Now, this has, of course, led to a bunch of controversy among people who apparently have way too much time on their hands because they sit around thinking about how upset they are that Ariel won't be a white woman with red hair. And you're talking about this issue, so glass houses, buddy. Now, um, Halle Bailey will be the actress playing the role of uh, Ariel. And uh, I want to share some of the tweets from individuals who are upset about this. First, an individual who doesn't seem too upset, but is just asking the question, albeit kind of an ignorant question. I'm just saying that if a white person can't be cast as Aladdin or Jasmine, why can a black person be cast as Ariel? In both stories, the race of the main character affects the plot, political marriage, and all that. Well, it could be the fact that um, mermaids don't exist. <laughs> so, That's one theory. That has literally nothing to do with the question. Yes, mermaids don't exist, so asking why the live-action Little Mermaid isn't having a real mermaid play Ariel would be ridiculous. However, white women do exist, and this question is about changing the race of a pre-established character from white to black. Not about why Ariel's not being played by a real mermaid. You could use a similar argument to justify whitewashing Aladdin. Why isn't it okay to have a white actor play Aladdin? Well, because Aladdin doesn't exist. Now, I don't care about changing the race of a pre-established character. My position is that race doesn't matter. However, the rules need to be applied consistently. And if it's not okay to whitewash Aladdin, it's not okay to blackwash Ariel. That being said, I do have some criticisms of the tweet. In both stories, the race of the main character affects the plot, political marriage, and all that. This is inaccurate. In both movies, the character's race have zero effect on the plot. While both marriages are political because they both marry royalty, that has nothing to do with race. In fact, I don't think their races are mentioned even once in either of their movies. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> Let me give you some more. If I'm a Disney shareholder, then I'm pissed. There's no way a global brand such as Little Mermaid will see a maximum return on investment for a live action movie by not casting a redhead white girl for political posturing. Uh, Hallie is tremendously talented, but this is stupid. Okay, uh, if you were only interested in maximum return on investment, first of all, casting redheads would not be the best way to go. <laughs> not a high percentage of them in the population. But uh, most importantly, you would cast an Asian. Because if you cared about worldwide sales, there's more Asians. Mm -hmm. But since they live in their own bubble, they're like, well, everybody's white, right? I mean, if you want to make money, you'd appeal to me, why the white people, right? No, you'd, and you know what else you'd cast a lot of? Muslims, because there's 1.6 billion Muslims in the world. So you might want to rethink that uh, reasoning, that reasoning that you had for, uh, for defending your position. The problem with what you just said, Chank, is that it assumes the reason not casting a redhead white girl won't get maximum return on investment is because audiences want to watch characters that look like them and apparently subscribe to the same religious faith. The actual reason is because people tend to get really triggered when the race of a pre-established character is changed. Look, I, I don't know the age of the individuals tweeting, but I would assume that they're not little children. Right? Neither are you, yet you're still talking about this subject. So for a second, just take a step back and think about what it feels like to be a young girl of color, for instance, a, a, a person of color who is never represented in any favorable way in any of these fairy tales or any of these movies or cartoons. Yeah, women of color are never represented in media. <laughs>
weird or that you you don't fit in. And I, I think it's way more important to be inclusive in this case because you want kids to feel like they're accepted, right? If the goal is to be inclusive, then making a redhead character black was a terrible decision on Disney's part. I do want to point out that some people on my side have engaged in a little bit of trollery that happens to be hilarious. And that's this idea that Hollywood has an anti-redhead bias. Because strangely enough, a lot of these traditionally white roles that have been recast into black roles were originally the roles filled by redheaded characters. And considering redheads are in fact a smaller minority than African Americans, and historically a traditionally persecuted minority by governments like the Nazi Party of Germany, I think it's really funny that people are using the left's own arguments about representation and marginalization against them when it comes to redheads. Now this largely has been done in a tongue-in-cheek kind of way which makes me enjoy it so much because even though it's done mostly as a joke and even though it's done mostly to prove a point to the leftists who have no problem with racial casting changes in one direction but are outraged and say that it's a sign of oppression when those casting changes happen in another direction, the logic of the redhead argument actually fits perfectly and it completely exposes the hypocrisy and bias that the left wing has against actors and the way our movies should be cast in the United States of America. Like your adult feelings don't matter in this case. Their age doesn't invalidate their opinion. Also, you're an adult, so by your own standard, your feelings on this don't matter, so shut up. Like, it's just so dumb. And how do you have time to worry about this? How? Probably the same way you have enough time to make a video about this. Like, I gotta be honest, the story got pitched today in the production meeting. The reason why I stay away from these stories is because it frustrates me to know that there are adults out there who think about this and get upset about this. About this. Get the political issues you normally talk about on DYT that actually matter don't frustrate you? I assume talking about stuff that frustrates you would be a normal part of your job that you're used to. <laughs> no! Little Mermaid has to be white! And so does Santa Claus! Well, the Disney classic version of Ariel is white, and so are most versions of Santa. Now, maybe there will be versions of these characters in the future that are different races than the versions that came before them, and that's fine. However, the rules need to be applied consistently. Imagine how upset the Young Turks would be if Disney whitewashed a PLC character like Princess Jasmine. I know that the Young Turks wouldn't be okay with whitewashing Princess Jasmine, because when they answered the first tweet, they attempted to justify the double standard of it being okay to blackwash Princess Ariel, but not being okay to whitewash Aladdin and Princess Jasmine with the argument, Mermaids don't exist, but Spectrum, you might be saying, it's different because people of color are minorities and white people have a lot more representation in media than POCs. You know who else is a minority? gingers and brunettes have a lot of more representation in media than redheads. If you're using this logic to argue it's not okay to whitewash PLC characters, surely you must also believe it's not okay to brunette wash redheads. Hashtag redhead representation matters. Heck, SJWs had a meltdown over the actress playing Princess Jasmine in the live action adaptation of Aladdin being half white. Lauren Chen made a video about this which I'll link in the description. I recommend checking it out. Hey new kids, don't worry. Santa Claus isn't black. Remember that's what Megyn Kelly said. Why would they be worried? It depends on which kids, right? The US is a white majority country, therefore the majority of kids here are white. And even if they were white kids, why would they be worried about that? Like, <gasps> What if Santa Claus was black? And then what? And then what would happen? People will get triggered about changing the race of a pre-established character. Oh, just one more tweet, one more tweet. You just ruined The Little Mermaid. Why is it so hard to be accurate with the original animated movie? I don't have a problem with the actress, uh, uh, but uh, apparently you do. But she doesn't look like Ariel at all. If you want more diversity, why don't you people make new movies with new characters? Okay, that tweet was really stupid. I'm going to break down why. Since the Young Turks are incapable of making a single coherent argument against this tweet, 
I guess it's up to me to do their job for them. You just ruined The Little Mermaid! Even if the live-action Little Mermaid ends up being the worst film ever made, it didn't ruin the Disney classic version. You know those shows, movies, and comics where there's like a million parallel universes? This just feels like one of those parallel universes. Not a replacement, just a different version. The Dark Knight films don't erase out the original Batman. The Rise of the Planet of the Apes films don't destroy the style and genius of the original. Same goes for the live-action Little Mermaid and any other live adaptation or reboot. Love it or hate it, it didn't ruin your beloved original, so stop complaining about that. Why is it so hard to be accurate with the original animated movie? As for staying accurate to the original animated movie, the Disney classic Little Mermaid isn't an original no, any more than the live action adaptation is. The original Little Mermaid comes from Hans Christian Andersen. Believe me when I say the Disney classic version of The Little Mermaid does not stay accurate to the original at all. So if we're going to start crucifying new adaptations for not staying accurate to the original story. Well, let's start with the Disney classic Little Mermaid. I don't have a problem with the actress, but she doesn't look like Ariel at all. People seem to be upset because when they look at her, they don't initially see what they think of when they think of the Little Mermaid with the red hair and the blue eyes. But what's funny is the Little Mermaid was never even intended to have red hair. The only reason they changed her hair to red was because she was originally supposed to be blonde, but they thought that with the green fin and the purple shells that the red just looked better on screen. Okay, the big thing that, that I feel like nobody's talking about is that she actually does look like Ariel. And you're like, well, wait, 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 wait. So part of my job, if you didn't know, I'm a co-owner of a princess party company. So part of my job is to cast people who fit these roles. So part of that is you have to be able to envision what that person is going to look like in the wig, in the context, in the makeup, what they're going to look like as the character before you bring them in. Yes, we wind up having them try things on with the wigs and such, but we have a pretty good idea in our heads what they're going to look like. And this girl, Hallie, looks so much like Ariel. And people are, are just blinded by the fact that the coloring is different. But if this girl had flaming red hair and blue eyes, she doesn't even need the blue eyes, but she still looks so much like Ariel. Her smile, her eyes, her face. She has the most princessy face. I've seen on almost anybody. <laughs> so the fact that people are like, she doesn't look like the original, she actually does. I think it's really just the red hair. And you know what? They might have her dye her hair red. They might have her wear a red wig. We don't know, but like, if you actually like envision in your head, try, try with me. Picture, Halle Bailey, red hair. Maybe add a mermaid tail. <laughs> If you really want to stretch it, you can picture the blue eyes too. And she looks just like the cartoon. It's a little weird. If you want more diversity, why don't you people make new movies with new characters? One, Disney's already doing that. It's not either or. Just because Disney's making a PLC version of a white character doesn't mean Disney's not making new movies with new characters. Kinda like how Netflix making a white version of a PLC character doesn't stop Netflix from making new white characters. The live action Little Mermaid is a new movie. It's based on something else, not necessarily an original, but the same goes for the Disney classic Little Mermaid, which was based on a Hans Christian Andersen story. If you care about movies making new characters and not simply making new versions of already existing characters, you should know Ariel from the Disney classic Little Mermaid isn't a new character. The original Ariel comes from Hans Christian Andersen. 2. If the goal is diversity, then making new movies with new characters isn't inherently better than making another version of an already existing character. For example, Let It Shine is a new movie with new characters all of its characters are the same race. Big Hero 6 and its sequel show, Big Hero 6 the series, I'm mentioning it has a sequel show because I'm using images of the characters from the show where they're 2D, in the movie they're 3D. The characters originally came from Marvel Comics, and Big Hero 6 is pretty diverse. Hashtag not my Ariel. Maybe you should wait until after you've seen the movie before 
rejecting or accepting this new Ariel, so you can judge her by the content of her character rather than the color of her skin. Okay. Uh, to, now, to be fair, I was also upset at the live animated uh, Aladdin because in the original movie, the uh, in this movie, uh, now all of a sudden they made the genie black. In the original movie, he was blue. Okay, so why couldn't you get a blue actor to play to, to keep it real and, and, and consistent with the original movie? Okay, this is unrelated to your point, Shank, but it really bothers me when people refer to the Disney classic versions of these stories as the originals. The original Aladdin comes from The 101 Nights, and the original Little Mermaid comes from Hans Christian Andersen. I like the Disney classic version of these stories, but they're not the originals. So everyone, please stop calling them that. Moving on, that comparison is not the same thing. There aren't blue people in real life, so obviously Disney can't cast a real blue actor to play the genie in the live-action Aladdin. White people, on the other hand, do exist, so Disney can cast a real white person to play Ariel. That being said, if we're going down this path that race matters, the genie in the Disney classic version of Aladdin was played by Robin Williams, who's white. So if you care about the live-action Aladdin staying true to the Disney classic version, then you should be complaining about the fact that the genie wasn't played by a white actor. Regarding the actual content of the film, the genie was blue. He just made himself look black to blend in with the humans. The original Aladdin from the 101 Nights is Chinese. So are you also mad at the Disney classic Aladdin for not staying true to the original? Hashtag not my genie. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. The Young Turks reject the genie because he's black.